The most effective bullet is a bullet that stops the target in just one shot. But there are circumstances when it's better to wound the enemy rather than kill them. That's the view of wound ballistics expert, Dr. Martin Fackler. From a military environment, one of the theories is that wounding is better than killing the enemy. Because if you wound the enemy, then he must be hauled off the battlefield and a person who's got his hands full of stretcher can't be shooting back at you. But in urban law enforcement, things are very different. The ultimate bullet should allow you to shoot an assailant, ideally without them shooting back. They call it the one-shot stop. But this is a last resort. Police only shoot to save the life of an officer or innocent bystanders. And that usually happens at short range. The average police shooting in the United States occurs at uh, 10 feet or less. At that range, wounding is not enough. The officer must instantly stop a perpetrator from firing back. They'll break into a room and, and people there will have arms and they'll be facing them at uh, 10 or 15 feet and they'll be shooting back at the policeman. The most effective shot, if, if, the, if it could be made, would be a, a shot in the head. This would be most likely to incapacitate. But in the heat of close combat, a head may be moving and hard to hit. So police training says, aim for the body's center of mass. Though sometimes, even that is not enough. Even the best shot that goes right in the middle of the center of mass and, and goes through the heart cannot be counted upon to stop that person immediately. A person who has his heart penetrated by a bullet could well keep shooting for 20 seconds. Because severely injuring a person's heart does not stop his brain from thinking until it's finally starved of oxygen. So what bullet is the best for a one-shot stop? That depends on the type of gun. For police work, the handgun is the weapon of choice. Handguns and bullets come in different sizes, measured by the caliber, the diameter of the bullet. This is measured in either American inches or in the European metric system. The 9mm, a German caliber, is 0.35 of an inch in diameter. The 45 is American and 0.45 of an inch in diameter. In law enforcement, both types of weapons are popular. When it comes to the stopping power of handguns, size really does matter. The difference between uh, the 9mm and the 45, of course, is diameter of the bullet. So the 45 is double the mass of the 9mm bullet. The bigger the bullet, the bigger the impact, the bigger the hole. But the bullet design is also crucial. Most handgun bullets are either round nose or hollow point. The round nose is a traditional full metal jacket bullet made to create a bigger hole in the target. The hollow point has a concave depression cut into the tip designed to fragment into pieces. But which has the greater stopping power? The most effective bullet doesn't just punch right through the target. It creates serious internal damage. Let's take to the shooting range to see how each bullet performs. First, the round nose bullet. The round nose penetrates the target and goes right through, leaving a clean exit hole. If this was a bad guy, he'd probably still be firing at the police officer. Next, a hollow point bullet. Watch the container on the left. The bullet totally destroys the target. On the streets, a hollow point gives the officer more chance of stopping the criminal with one shot. The hollow point expands on impact to almost three times its size. The expanding effect means that the bullet dumps its power inside the body, damaging more tissue than a normal round nose bullet. 
The hollow point is commonly used as an anti-personnel round. It's designed to damage more tissue by opening up similar to a flower, so it has a larger wound channel. A larger wound means a greater chance of hitting an organ, cutting nerves, or severing an artery, and so stopping the target.